Hey, hello. Good afternoon. I'm having a <clears throat> working lunch today. I've got some um, leftover ham from, um, um, hi, welcome. Um, leftover ham from Easter and some breakfast potatoes from the day before that we're, um, I'm having a working lunch today, um, getting some things done and just kind of trying to plan up the week. So, um, for those of you um, planner peeps, I um, just purchased myself a brand new Happy Planner, um, and I am just figuring out how to go about this planning thing. Um, I've always just kind of used a um, Google Google calendars on my cell phone, and then just synced them between my husband's cell phone and or between my husband's account and mine. And um, I don't know, it's not always an awesome thing especially because well we have I have Android and he has iPhone and so there's that um, obstacle to overcome plus um, he got a new one and he has not um, he's not synced it yet so um, that's not working awesome and then we have a wall calendar um, hanging up by the door where he's put all of his um, his shifts and things on and um, got the summer planned out but it's not on anything that I see or I have with me and so I'm gonna I'm making a big effort to go ahead and start planning um, in a more intentional way. So I just wanted to share some of the things that I bought at the Dollar Tree um, for my happy, well, to just do kind of some decorating and make it fun. And I knew that if I was gonna do this, if I was gonna change the way that I'm organizing my family's life, that it had to be something kind of fun and, um, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make it fun. I'm trying to make it something that I enjoy um, and that I'm happy to do, that I look forward to doing, kind of figuring things out rather than um, something that's a pain because if it's a pain, I won't do it. So um, so that is what that is. So um, I'm going to show you what I got at the Dollar Tree because I was really surprised there was more there that I could use than I expected. Um so I found, I don't even know where this was there. Um, I just found it like sitting by something, but I found some other washi, but, um, or some other just decorative tape. Um, but these ones, I kind of liked that they were really narrow. So they're different from, I have some washi that I bought at Michael's in a, in a pack and it's the regular wide stuff and these are narrower. And so I think that they'll be fun to use on um, for different things. So there are seven different um, rolls and there's not there's not a ton um, on it there are only um, there's only that much and it doesn't say on the box how much it is but you know it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree so it's worth um it was worth it to to get them and pretty some pretty some things up in my planner so then they also had okay so I have to keep things contained so I bought just a I don't know, kind of like people use them for coupons, but it's a bigger one. It's not the little coupon one. Um, so I can keep some stickers in there. So they had um, these ones. I really kind of like these ones. They um, it's different frames kind of. So I think, but it looks to me like they should fit pretty well. Um, let me open something on the page here. They look to me like they should, for the most part, maybe some will be a little bit too big, but they should fit pretty well into the happy planner um the the daily dividers some might be a little bit big but um i don't know that those will be those will be fun to use so they have these frame frame labels they have these craft paper labels they also had different ones that had different colors so there were um brighter colors but i liked the varied sizes so these ones are and they're kind of boring they're all they're just all tan um, that kind of craft color, but um, but I like the the different sizes of them. Um, again, they should be close, a little bit big, a couple of them. But I can use them for this. And I also have um, I have a Color Crush personal size on the way to me right now because so I can use my plan then is going to be to use this planner for um, keeping track of all of our family stuff but then um, I have 
a blog and a direct sales business or a network marketing business that um, I'm involved in and I think I'm going to use that one for um, keeping track of my personal goals and um, you know and things like that I think will be that will make the family planner too bulky um, so oh I don't know where these came from oh these came from the um, the little stickers to put on the little tabs on here that's what those are okay and then I also got these labels um, they just have like brackets um, and then a color and there are 60 of them and or, so there's six different colors um, on a sheet so these I think will be fun and I think these will actually work really well in the um, the color crush planner because they are um, the days are different they're not like these ones so I use those in there um, and then these ones are kind of interesting. They are kind of a frame, but they're hard or they're, they're stiff. Um, so I think what you have, or gonna, what I'm going to have to do is use them to, so there's not a hole in the middle. It's a solid thing. So I'll have to, um, like write and then put this over it, or you could put it over like, I don't know if it would fit over. It would fit over Saturday, Sunday, if you, like two days if you wanted to highlight. The song one would fit over two days if you wanted to highlight that. Or you could use these for to highlight one day if there's something special on that day. So, like across the top here, you can see there it will go around two days. Or one of these might, would go around one day. So if there's something really big, that might be a fun way to, um, to highlight those. And... This is the, um, let's see, I'll go over here to one that I haven't put anything in yet, just to keep everything else out of the way. So here is the, the month view, and see how, yeah, so like this here it fits in, it fits in the month view pretty well. So, I don't know, we'll see, they were a dollar, so it'll be a fun way to try out some different things, and then I thought maybe if I got creative and and girly and wanted something fancy they have these they're kind of 3d some of them kind of pop out um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna want that bulk in there though because it already with the extension pack for the beginning of the year here it's already kind of um, maxing out these rings and I kind of need to order some um, the bigger rings so that I can uh, so it's actually kind of it feels kind of full um, like it's I don't know, not as easy as I would maybe like to. Um, and I pulled a few months out at the end. So it doesn't have a full two years in it. Um, so here's the thing I don't get about Happy Planner. They're 18 months. So this one, then I just bought it. So it's July 2016 through December 2017. So let's just say that I absolutely love the Happy Planner and I want to stay in this. Then I have to buy another 18 month planner at the beginning of next year and go to all the trouble of, um, I mean, stickers are fun, yeah, but um, like to have to add like a date sticker on every one, it took a little bit of time and I only had to do a few months. Um, I don't, it just seems weird. I don't know if they sell um, year happy planners like at the end of the year and then after the end of the year is over, they start selling the um, 18 month ones. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. This is new new to me. So those are the stickers that I bought and the, the tape that I bought at the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm kind of excited to use it and do something fun with it. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you today was um, kind of a way of um, organizing for, for the holidays. <clears throat> so we just had Easter and we hosted Easter. Um, oh, one other thing I was going to show you. I wanted to show you. See this little guy? My husband's a firefighter. Um, so I bought this on Etsy. It was just a couple bucks. Um, I bought this on Etsy so I can stamp his shift days because he doesn't work a regular schedule like a Monday through Friday. Um, so I can stamp his shift days and have a really easy way to, um, so like here, you can see I stamped. But I think I decided that stamping, did I stamp the next week? 
that's stamping in a oh like like here stamping in the day kind of seems a little bit better than stamping up there because it's just awkward um, unless maybe once I get past the um, the sticker dates I could maybe stamp directly on top of like in here you know these are uh, plasticky stickers and here I could maybe stamp like directly on the number and that would be a, an easy way just to denote that he's working and that way I don't have to write in shift days or whatever um, but it's easy enough to keep track of which days he's working because he does work a really kind of erratic schedule. I mean it makes sense when you know the pattern but in the middle of it it's not like you can say oh it's Wednesday so he works today or or not so um, it's just one way that's just how I'm gonna um, I'm gonna keep track of it and I'm kind of excited actually because it's cute it's really tiny and it's cute so the thing that I did um, for the holiday for Easter so we hosted Easter here and um, to keep track of hi to keep track of um, uh, so what I decided to do in my planner was to stick this or to make a folder so I have a folder in here that I made and um, I have the recipes then that I needed for um, Easter and we had people over for a couple of days so we had a big meal on Saturday and a big meal on Sunday and so um, a lot of times I just keep recipes like they're on my phone or pinned on Pinterest or whatever and so like as you're making something you know your phone times out and um, and you got to click back on your hands are messy you got to unlock it and get back to your recipe right so or at least that's how it works for me <laughs> Um, so what I did was took all the recipes for the meals that I was going to be making over those days that I was going to need recipes for, things that weren't like stuff that you just kind of make up or wing it, um, and I put them on recipe cards. Um, yes, exactly. You get like food, flour, eggs, <laughs> stuff all over your phone. So this way they're on, no, on cards, and I've just not really been one to mark, write my recipes out on cards because I just have them on my phone. And so I'm kind of trying to um, maybe not do that. So I made um, I made this folder then that I could keep track of all of those things in. And I didn't really have to, I just threw this one together really quickly and I didn't decorate it or anything. And I actually forgot to glue one of the seams. But I wanted to show you today how, um, how I made it because it was really easy and I found a YouTube video and it felt really convenient just to have so like I mean theoretically I could have had like Saturday stuff on this side and Sunday stuff on this side um, I also um, have punched a, like a to-do list and I could have that in you know on the week so that I knew what um, what things I needed to get done for that and these are they're just made with um, with a 12 by 12 sheet of um, scrapbook paper. Um, it would be better if you had fancier paper, but I didn't have fancy paper. And actually I looked at Michael's and I wanted um, two-sided paper because you fold it up. Um, and so you need two-sided paper if you're gonna do that and then um, one that's not gonna be upside down when you flip it and I'll show you why. So I just used plain and then I was gonna decorate it with washi or stamps or stickers or something and I just never did. But um, the nice thing is they're really easy to do, so you could, it would be really easy to just write like directly on here like Saturday and then to maybe list out your, one thing that my mother-in-law does that is brilliant that I started doing is when you have a big meal, you have to figure out like all of the stuff that you're cooking, right? You have got like four things that you're making for dinner or five things. And so how many times do you get to the table and you're like, oh shoot, I forgot the beans that they're still on the stove or I forgot to heat them up or you know, hopefully that's not the case, but, um, so she always makes a list. So you can see here, I have a list of all of the things that we were making for that meal. And then here was a list of the things that we were having for our meal on Easter. And, um, then I also took a post-it and I kind of wrote out like what times we needed to start, what time the turkey needed to go in, what time I needed to start working on the potatoes, um, and all of that. And you could easily, because these are so simple and easy and cheap to make you could easily write all of those things including your guest list or whatever on directly on here and just use it as a way to keep track of um, all of those things so um, I'm going to show you real quick let me move my lunch <laughs> and I um, 
I'm gonna try and get this so that you can see well what I'm doing, but I don't have a tripod. So, and hopefully we don't get, okay. So basically, um, I have a bone folder from my stamping, card making, scrapbooking days. I just don't have much time for it anymore. But, um, so all I'm gonna do is fold this up um, about a third of the way. So if you have a ruler, which mine are, we moved and mine are still in the garage, um, like four inches, because it's 12 inch, and then just crease that like that. And that's gonna be the pocket. Um, and then we're gonna fold it in half this way. So basically, so you fold, fold it up here, and then you're gonna fold it back to back this way. Um, and crease that. And then we're gonna use this to make, um, so it's, there's gonna be, we'll glue it, um, and there'll be the pocket on either side, like where you saw my recipe part, but then there's also a pocket in the middle. So if you need a place to keep receipts or um, you know any other lists, that you could easily take your grocery list and put it in there and just have everything um, all in one place. Now the problem I ran into is that I bought the Happy Planner Punch. I didn't go and buy, there's, um, a, I think it's Levenger or something, um, or an Arc Punch. They're better punches. This one will not fit, because right down here we've got four layers of cardstock. Um, this will not fit in here. So it's, it's stuck. So what I did then was punch each side separately. So you just have to be careful that you're really very accurate with it. So what works pretty well is on here, you can see here it says the happy planner and I lined um, the bottom. Yes, this is the happy planner punch. I was going to buy the like fancier one, um, the arc, uh, like an arc punch or the Levenger punch, but um, I wanted it like right now and I didn't want to spend 50 bucks. So what I did was line the bottom of this up with the H on the, and then put that in there, and then um, punch this side, and then the same thing on the other side. So again, I'm gonna line this up with the very edge of the H. I know it's not very scientific, but I need a better punch before I do that, I guess. Okay, and punch that side. So then they line up, if you are careful, they line up relatively well. So um, then I'm gonna take just a glue stick and glue, okay, first you have to, you gotta glue this side, which you can do before you punch, but I got distracted. So I'm gonna do both of the short sides here so that I know how far up, you know, if I do, if I glue here, who knows where to stop. So I, if I glue this side, then I know for sure that's at the right spot. So push that down. And then you have to make sure that you remember to glue across the bottom. I forgot to glue across the bottom on my blue one. So glue across the bottom um, and then up the side here. And just kind of make sure that you get it like all the way across. This will, or you'll have a gap, and it probably doesn't matter for paper stuff, but there. And then just press that, press that together. And if you're pretty careful with your punching, um, you can see here that it's pretty, um, it's pretty accurate. So then we can just pop this um, right here in inside, and um, I'll decorate this one. Maybe put some washi across the. Um, top of the pocket or maybe across the bottom but there you can see that it fits right in there um, and it's pretty slick so it's a really um, um, it's a really cheap and um, easy way to get um, just some extra storage in um, in your planner um, if you don't want to spend the like five dollars on um, the happy planner ones which I'm kind of cheap, so I kind of thought that <laughs> that the um, piece of paper would be good enough, and um, so that is what I did for that. And so now I may um, we have a vacation coming up this summer. We're gonna plan some activities, so I'll 
decorate that up and I'll have it on hand and ready to put um, different summer activities or you know notes for things we could do or or whatever just to kind of store things um, in here that are going to be relevant to the time so um, that is my happy planner <laughs> planner anxiety I know I know it gets um yeah so the nice thing about having the punch too though is like um so I bought these um oh, this is being weird <clears throat> I bought these um some post-its and they were on a card and so I just punched the card and could keep those in here um, and then also this is a kind of a cool thing too so I have a friend who is um, she's a uh, well she teaches English in China and so it's kind of a missionary type situation uh, but she works with English Language Institute China um, and so for years she's been there and I get um, things in the mail from her and I think about, like, oh, I should be praying for her. Um, <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah, hopefully it's going to be a good thing for me. But um, I get things in the mail from her all the time about, like, you know, an update of what she's doing. And um, so I get them, and I'm like, oh, that's really great. That's really cool to hear what she's doing. And then I don't think about her again until I get the next thing in the mail, right? So she has um, these. They come. They all come with these... Um, you know, it's like a pledge card. You can send, um, you can like fill out a thing to, um, to send her, you know, to support her while she's over there to pay for her living expenses and, and all of that. Um, and so what I did was punch it and stick it in my planner. So now it's here right now. It's in the month view. And so that I'll, I'll have it here. I stuck it in April since March was almost over. But now I can, as I'm going through, I can just have this in here and be reminded of her and I can pray for her throughout um, throughout the month rather than just wait for the next two months until I get something in the mail for her and then think about her again and pray for her. So I'm really excited to be able to just keep little things like this because um, otherwise they just sit out on the counter. Um, yeah, they sit on the counter and then they clutter your house up, you know, and then you just throw them away because they're in the way. And so this is a way that I can keep them here. I can think about her. I can pray for her, um, in a little bit more organized manner. So, um, all right. <laughs> yeah. Counters, right? Which see that right there, that basket right there is like all of it's a lot of it is like my husband's meal and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, that right there is like, that's the spot where stuff gets stuffed. <laughs> so this is one less thing stuffed. Um, otherwise, honestly, I've just got come to where I just throw things away a lot of time. Um, yes, all these systems in the island, is it is. It's true. It's true. Um, so hopefully this way. And so that's why, I mean, a lot of stuff that I would like to maybe hold on to for, for reasons like this, to think about or to pray for or whatever, I just throw away because I know that, that is what's going to happen to it otherwise. And so we try and just keep a lot of paper out of the house and I'll throw things away in the trash can before, like when I get the mail, before it even makes it in the house. If it's stuff I know that I don't need, I'll just throw it away right away be, just to try and reduce the paper clutter in here with four kids, three of them in school. Kindergarten is like the worst. They come home with a hundred papers every day. I swear it. Um, and so we just get flooded with, with paper. So I try and keep as much out of the house as possible. Um, so anyway, that is my, my planner info for today. I am going to try and get this week, um, figured out a little bit more. Um, the other benefit to this is, so we moved, uh, like five months ago, which means like new services and new everything. And we forget every single month that it's recycling and I think we've been here five months and I think we've taken our recycling has actually been picked up like once or twice because it's only once a month so here we go right here folks recycling day <laughs> that's not the kind of thing that you like want to plaster on your wall planner or like bother putting in your cell phone but recycling day I need to find a prettier way of denoting that but I'm going to get my sticky recycling out because it's full. It's full. It's been full for a month. And so we just have to throw things away or like find creative corners in the trash can and throw them away. And so 
Anyway, I am going to make sure that I don't forget my recycling this week. And I am going to get prepared for... i got to get my taxes done. I'm going to get my taxes done. Or I'm going to work on them. Because my husband really wants me to. So. All right. Well, thank you for being here. And um, we will see you. Yes, super fun. Super fun. Especially when you own your own business and try and figure out all of that stuff. So thanks for being here. And I hope you guys have a great day.